Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's March 10th, 2023, and after a very successful Fat Pack February, followed by a Ginter Chrome Hobby Box break, our lucky totems are on load management, so we've got a big, fun mail day. We have got a big old stack of T-Man cards that I got in a lot. We continue our Auto Relic Adventure, and then we've got a card swap, Valen Ginter X from Like Hawk Cards, and a surprise package from Collector Holic, who I recently sent some stuff to. Uh, in the dugout today, we've got Justin Herbert and Jason Dominguez, the Martian. At the end of the episode, we will send it down onto the field, take a closer look at those gents, as well as some favorites slash highlights lights from this episode let's kick things off with the auto relic adventure continuation uh fat pack february put that all on hold or pause but i'm very excited to get back into it this particular auto relic adventure pickup uh is a sort of double pc pickup for me fits the all jewish team squad uh and then adds to the auto relic adventure so let's not wait around let's not dilly dally here let's show the goods what we have here is tops tier one jock peterson sweet looking patch there i arguably triple color i guess even though it's probably you know lettering um a lot of people mention this tier one uh doesn't get a lot of love oddly enough uh of course sticker autograph but other than that beautiful card numbered seven out of 25 uh picked this one up at a card show uh along with a bunch of other stuff but i got it for all of 17 dollars uh and you know the thing that makes me crack up about that is jock peterson he's got rings i mean he can rake he's a fun guy Playing for the Giants right now, uh, but I couldn't pass it up because not only the all Jewish team, but the patch was just really, really cool. That's what the back looks like, uh, and so the reason I wanted to, you know, show this one off today is the World Baseball Classic is underway, and Jock Peterson is basically a team captain of Team Israel. He took it upon himself to uh, get major leaguers and really good players to come and play for Team Israel. Uh, and they got a pretty good squad. Uh, a lot of former major leaguers, um, Dean Kremer and the pitching staff. So they may have a good run. We'll see how they do. But really love the card. Uh, really, it's all about the patch for me. Uh, you know, his autograph is whatever, and it's a sticker. But, you know, out of 25, pretty nice. I like it. Uh, all right, let's look at some T-Man additions. I mentioned the other day or the other week or whenever it was that I feel like I have the best team and collection in the hobby and I challenge anyone. Uh, and I just got two more autos for the collection. I'm not even getting really like doubled up autos. I am just like killing it on the auto tip. So basically this stack was about $60. It was two different lots uh, and then a card that just arrived as a single. But here we got a nice fresh faces from Certified. Again, sticker. It's just so many sticker autos. But, you know, if he's your main PC guy, you'll, you'll take the stickers. Uh, and this is a perfect time to show it off because I talk a lot about Terrence Mann. I get very frustrated with my beloved Clippers when he is not playing a lot of minutes. Uh, and then the other night, he got good minutes. He played the entire fourth quarter over Russell Westbrook. He had a great game. He was throwing down awesome dunks. It was a dunk fest for the Clippers the other night. Kawhi had five dunks uh, and posterized some people. Uh, yeah, really fun game, but T-Man out there doing what he does. He had 14.6 rebounds, six assists, uh, a steal, I think, and all the intangible things that he does and just brings all that energy. So much love to my guy T-Man. Look at that. Beautiful. Hot rookies. And we kind of see how, like, the auto is even, like, evolving over time with him. It's still basically the T-Man, but that one looks kind of funky. He was getting tired end of the day. This one actually picked up in a single, just ordered, I think it was like a dollar twenty-five or something, but nice one there. I love those lasers. We got some nice prism. I know a lot of people don't really care about the draft picks, uh, but when you get them in the cool waves, right? Nice illusions. Green. Actually the second green parallel I've picked up, and then we just got a nice run of mosaic here. Prism. 
more illusions, more of that. Like, how do you pass this up? This the the main uh, stack here was one seller with the two autos and then a bunch of other cards, and he wanted a hundred and like thirty five dollars. And I just put it in my watch list, and he offered me fifty bucks, and so I was like, yeah. Especially consider on average, I'm paying about fifteen to twenty dollars per auto of T Man. And it looks really good when he goes on national TV and has a great game like he did the other night. And these are really cool. I guess these are the Fanatics. Um, but I do love me some Raider rookie cards. And, you know, these are the really nice waves. And this is the one that just arrived. I have not picked up any Mosaic to rip from this year. Um, I did see it on, like, I think Target.com. So maybe we'll pursue it. Like I said, this year it's all about the auto relics. So I'm trying not to pursue things to rip. But this one numbered 82 out of 85. So solid little addition to T-Man. I encourage you all, don't be sleeping on my guy T-Man. Get yourself some T-Man cards and increase his overall value for all the collectors out there. Uh, okay, let's get into Like a Hawks package here. Basically what happened here was, if you recall... My Allen and Ginter X break, I got four doubles of my minis, which was just weird. Uh, and so Hawk and I are good buddies, and we were talking, and we just worked out a little bit of a trade. Oh, he must have run out of painter's tape. I look forward to his comment on, yes, I did run out of painter's tape and went with the scotch. Uh, so we, we just had a little uh, swap of basically the minis, and then I sent him some other cards uh for his pc rizzo and andre dawson but here are the four that we i got in the trade i think i traded him verlander you darvish uh nick lodolo and one other that i can't remember posey abreg and tata tata not having a good spring i don't even know if tatis has had a hit in spring training yet which is <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I mean, he has basically not played any professional baseball for like a year. Uh, so we'll see. But yeah, not great. Not great. Coming out of, team, or coming out of uh, Tatis right there. I think he's 0 for 3 yesterday. My man, the Grish Hammer, had a great playoffs. Kawhi looking fierce and dominant. Uh, you know, on the team man tip with Kawhi, I think they actually are like simpatico. Uh, and I really like that, and I'm hearing some possible like rumor mill grumblings that Kawhi actually is not a huge Russell Westbrook fan. You know, PG put the that in motion, and the other game where he, Russ Westbrook sat the entire fourth quarter and T-Man played it all, and they won. Uh, I think that is maybe a little telling. Maybe. Kevin Golly, I think, is a good player, but I don't know that he's on the Clippers anymore. They might have moved him. Hello, Starling, my old friend. That's a nice one right there. Little Diamond Kings. Back when he was still with Miami. Oh, nice little, little double up of Starling Marte. Grish Hammer. Uh, speaking of that, Collector Hollick, I think, had mentioned, because he just showed off the package I sent him the other day on his channel, uh, that he thinks Luke Voigt might be in the minors. I think he, I thought maybe with Washington. Yeah, I can't remember where he is. Chef G. Got the nickname. All rise. Very nice judge ready to get back to work. So Floriel, um, I don't know. The youngsters like Jason Dominguez are really making a statement in the springtime of like you need we need to be on the roster breaking camp. Very nice holiday edition Grish Hammer. Floriel got a lot of tools, but he might just be, you know, better trade bait or something. Really not sure. You know, good player, but if you're stacked in the outfield, which the Yankees are, I don't know what you do with that. Beautiful. Thank you for that. I think, and we did discuss, yeah, a bunch of Allen and Ginter X cards that we were swapping. Um, interesting. So this is 2022, and this is from when Whitey passed away, which was 2020? 2019? I don't know. Really, and I didn't pull any judge out of my Ginter Xbox. Nice man, Bino, Garrig, A. Bragg, there's Chef G. Oh, yes, and I forgot about this. I didn't pull any Derek Jeter either. And I'm just a big fan of this one. This is like, you know, 18 year old Derek Jeter right here. 
How do you not love that? Maris Cronut. Watch out for the Cronut. And fan favorite here in Shenanigans Car Park, Larry Doby. Love that. Thank you so much for that, Hawk. Always love swapping cards with you, buddy. And I'm sure as the year goes on, more of that will be happening. I hope that uh, I can make the National in Chicago and hang out with Hawk again. Still uh, a little up in the air, but we'll see. All right, so this one was not expecting this. Uh, I had, I knew I was going to do a quick mail episode, uh, and I, as I mentioned there, um, Collector Hawk had just shown off a package I sent him because I was just watching his channel, and he mentioned that he had uh, had a PC of Manny Machado. I don't really care for Manny Machado. Um, not so much that he's not a good player. I just don't really care for him as a person. Uh, so I sent him some Manny Machado cards and some Yankee cards and stuff like that. And here I am saying we're not going to rip anything, and he sends a bunch of stuff to rip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, this is really interesting. What is this? Well, that's cool. We, we always love the wonky stuff. Let's see what we got here. A little opening day. Heritage. Oh, man. Nice. I don't know what that is. Spread the love. There we go. Card crew giveaway. I don't know if it's a giveaway, but does he want me to give these away? I don't know. And the flare. You know we love flare. Oh, I'm so conflicted. Let's actually... Where's the captain? Number two, Lego Jeter. Number two. Let's bring him in here. And this is good stuff, I think, for pick-a-pack. And then let's open a Raleigh uh, and this thing. But you never know what might come of this Raleigh Fingers thing. Just very spontaneous here. Well, like I said, I was surprised he had sent something. Oh, well, that's a little interesting. This is some nice junk era. 89 Don Russ. With some, with some stuff. With some, with some stuff. The Great Yak Pack. Vintage baseball cards. I suppose if you want to call them vintage, you can. All right, that's weird. I uh, actually just kind of like, I feel like I want to cut this out and put it here on the wall because that's just a nice nice Raleigh right there. And then let's see what, uh, what this is about before we close it out here. So, you know, wonky stuff is fun. And, you know, we got the coins back here because I like the coins. I thought that was a nice thing that Archives did. And these are, oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. So I'm guessing these are, yeah. So they are, it looks like nickels. And then of the home state player. And so we've got two New Yorks and a Texas here. Very tiny, little teeny tiny coins. But that's pretty cool. Matsui there. Always got to give Matsui his props, man. World Series MVP. Nice frosted tips there on A-Rod and Roger Clemens. It must be a steroid thing. Got to do your frosty tips if you're on the roids. Very cool, Warren Spawn. And Collector Holic. If you don't subscribe to Collector Holic, He's always, you know, open stuff up. It's just a fun channel. Just, you know, collect stuff, which is uh, what we're, we're here to do. And, you know, uh, as I was looking at some of these cards, I was thinking, like, of Larry Doby here before we send it down onto the field. Fun fact, today it's the anniversary of when Bill Veck bought the White Sox. So, uh, you know, we love Bill Veck around here. Talk about him all the time. I just, I'd seen that on the calendar and a uh, fun little uh, piece of baseball history. So we brought Jeter in. As sometimes happens on load management days, but he was not needed to run the bases or anything like that. Uh, but we saw a lot of cool cards uh, today. Let's send it down onto the field. Look at the Herbert, the Dominguez, and a couple highlights. In the dugout today, we've got Justin Herbert and Jason Dominguez. Justin Herbert in here because it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Justin. Uh, don't rip football here usually in Shenanigans Card Park, uh, but it being his birthday and this card having been gifted to me by an OG Fab Sub who I, doesn't, I don't think really watches the show anymore because she's busy with college. It's Natalie Wu, uh, and I just thought I'd get that in there and a little shout-out to Natalie Wu. Uh, and then Jason Dominguez. This kid is putting on a show in spring training. He hit another homer the other night. His crack of the bat sounds special. 
the Martian is a great nickname for him because he hits him to Mars. Uh, and all, by all accounts, a great kid in the dugout, uh, in the clubhouse. Uh, and I, you know, he's 20 years old now. He just had his birthday last month. Uh, and it's feeling like, even though he's not facing anything above double A, I don't know how much longer you can keep him in the minors if he's just going to rake. Him, Volpe, and a bunch of these kids are just showing out and ready to come uh, and play in the Bronx. So we have to keep our eye on all of them. Okay, let's slide it over and look at a couple favorites uh, from the mail day. First set of highlights here from our mail day. Uh, goodies from Like a Hawk and Collector Hall. I want to thank both of you fine young gentlemen uh, for hooking me up with some goodies here. Uh, thank you, Hawk, for the minis uh, and the extras, especially on the Yankee PC front. Since I didn't open or didn't pull any of them uh, in my break, I do love the Ginter X, love all things Ginter, so really, really fun stuff there. And then thank you, uh, Chris, Collector Hollick, uh, for the wonky stuff. Uh, put the other stuff in pick a pack, so we'll certainly rip into that uh, in the near future, no doubt. And then these really interesting nickels. Uh, never seen these before. Uh, just a fun, definitely fun, wonky collectible. I dig it a lot. So thank you so much for that. All right, let's take a look at some autos to close it out. We have had a lot of really cool autographs in the recent episodes of Car Collecting Shenanigans. I think I said it once before that anytime you can close an episode with three autos, you know it's a good day. Uh, so this is just some really special fun stuff that uh, I'm very excited to add to the collection. Uh, I'll say it a million times. Don't sleep on my guy, T-Man. Uh, just a fun player to watch and a fun player to collect. Uh, and then, of course, Jock Peterson. Good luck to Team Israel. Uh, of course, I'm rooting for Team USA, uh, but a lot of really good teams in the World Baseball Classic this year. Uh, and very pleased to add this Jock to the Auto Relic Adventure PC. Uh, leave a comment, everybody. Let me know what you thought of all of today's shenanigans. Looking forward to reading your comments, as always. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.